Hello everybody, this is Sidartic back with you with Paracrew and today I'm going to show you how to automate certain Windows tasks in the fashion of IFTTT. So for those of you who don't know IFTTT, it's a mobile application that lets you create recipes based on certain triggers which in turn make certain events happen. So there is also something that goes near IFTTT but it's on Windows. It's in a rather limited fashion, it's currently in beta. It's this application over here, which you can see on my desktop, it's called ELP. I will link it in the description in case you guys want to download it. So once you open up ELP, you will be greeted by all these cards which contain certain events. Now let's take a look at these recipes one by one. First of all, you can automate where your files are downloaded or pictures and uh, you can automatically set a wallpaper from uh, Reddit or NASA. As you can see, I currently have the uh, top Reddit Earth photo as my wallpaper due to this card. Uh, you also have this weather update card, which once in a while brings up a weather uh, notification down here on the bottom right of your screen. You can also uh, program help to open up your browser to a specific web page or download a photo or download any photo that you are tagged in on Facebook. Moving on to the performance tab, we have this that gives you an alert when you're disconnected from your Wi-Fi, but I think Windows also does that right now, but I'm not quite sure since I'm on the desktop. You also have this which alerts you when an application is using too many system resources and slowing down your computer, or when your battery is half empty. You also have this privacy cleanup feature, which I'm not really sure what actually does. I haven't used it, and I really don't intend to since I have CCleaner for that to clean up any caches or memory that is left over. This is a pretty nifty feature which I have seen over here. It's a card that actually lets you insert your email and when any big account breach happens like the one that happened with Adobe a while back, it automatically checks the logs and see if your email is in the breached accounts and it gives you a notification. Let's go on to the audio. The audio tab uh, events are mainly triggered by when you plug in your headphones. You can either choose to open up an application, open up Spotify, play some music or open up Skype. Going on to the storage tab, actually empties some space when your disk is filling up or if you download a duplicate file it lets you know but I use the cleaner for that so I'm not gonna activate those uh, moving on to the schedule tab you can see that when your computer is locked you can disable the sound these are a couple features that I've activated they look pretty cool you can program the computer to mute its volume or shut down at a specific time for example that I forgot my computer open after 10 o'clock and I've gone to bed help will shut it down automatically. So to activate a card, you just click on it and change any options that it may have up here and then just hit activate and you will automatically get a notification from ELP that says that the card is activated. So what I want to see in future ELP releases is for it to permit greater customizability like IFTTT does by creating custom recipes. So that's it for today's video guys. I hope you found something interesting in ELP. Please like and subscribe and if you have any suggestion, please leave it in the comments below. I will see you in the next video. Oh,